Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanna discuss a big topic that's going on right now. Not drama, not nothing bad, it's actually a good topic. So go ahead and get comfy, pause the video, and once you're ready, you can play it, and let's get talking. So first thing, I wanna let you all know that I am working on something. I'm working on something pretty big. We'll take a little walk to talk about this, because why not? And instead of just standing still, I'm a person who likes to walk. Let's take a little walk. So we're in my backyard right now at my home. And um, a lot of you have been curious on my Snapchat and other platforms that I've mentioned this on, but I haven't mentioned it yet on here. Yesterday afternoon, I was outside and I was a little bit invaded. My, I was, my, my privacy was a little invaded by someone, um, my neighbor. Um, and morally thinking about it for the past few months, I've been really wanting to move into a new home and find a new home to live in with some more privacy. And I really just want to move out in the country. And I know that there's some people who are like, oh, country's not for you. Yes, it is. I know what I want. And even though I like makeup, I like nails, I like all that high tech now stuff, I still will love a country home. I've thought about it time and time again. In the past few months, I've been addicted to getting a literal, uh, like a country home. So I found this home and it is a refurbished, not refurbished, a renovated, <laughs> refurbished, renovated barn, I think. And it's like a huge barn, it's, re it's renovated, okay? And it, they, it is, it's, it's, it's a really nice place, okay? So, see, that's another thing. Listen to all the traffic. If I go up in the country, you ain't gonna hear that 24-7. You know what I mean? So I found this home, okay? And I am satisfied with it, okay? It's four bedrooms, bigger than what I got now. It only has two baths, but it's okay. Two baths is still good, it's, it's what I need. So four bed, two bath. And, um, it's all one, it's all one story basically, all but a little bit that goes up to your bedrooms. But what I really like about it is it's out in the country and the biggest part is it's on 13 acres, 13 acres. Yes, I said that right, 13 acres. And I thought about it all day yesterday. I've been doing the math. I've been doing different stuff, talking about it to people and just really curious on what's gonna go on. My phone's not magnetic on there. Um, I have like a little magnet on my phone that I can magnet you guys are, but I don't know where to magnet you at. I don't have any like metal or anything. <laughs> my bear, nope. Oh, that's perfect. Um, so yeah, and that's just to a view. <laughs> but I wonder if I can hook you guys anywhere else. There is some metal there, but it's not really connecting. <laughs> okay, maybe I can put y'all guys right here. There we go, kind of. So I've been really thinking about it. I've been really, you know, like really understanding where I want to move and stuff. And I've taken it into consideration and I decided that I want to sell my home here. And I'm going to move four hours away from here and go up north um, and go get a home up there. So uh, I love this home. I think it's great. It's 13 acres. I get my own property of full 13 acres. I can hunt if I would like. I can fish. I have a creek behind my home I can fish at. Um, uh, there's a, there's a, fire pl a fire pit outside already built. There's a playpen already outside. There's a fireplace inside the home. There's a wood stove inside the home. There is so many amazing features inside this home that I like. Fruit trees outside. If you need some fruit, go grab it. It's all nourished fruit, ready to be eaten. I mean, it's just great. And it's 13 acres. And even though the house is not the best quality, I still think that'd be good for me. I mean, a comfy little new, uh, a new home, a new start, a fresh new home with a new bedroom. I can get everything organized the way that I want, get everything cleaned up. And then, I mean, with four bedrooms, everybody has their own room. My mother and my sister are currently sharing bedrooms with a bunk, with, with two set of beds. Uh, it's, like, it's like a bunk bed, but then we unstacked it. So anyway, it's just like, you know, and it'd be nice to have everybody have their own privacy, everybody have their own room, have a fresh new home to live in. And I mean, it's just a great, it's a, it's a great, it's a great place. It really is. So, you know, I've been really, really busy this past week looking for these homes, talking about this new one with my grandfather, since the mortgage is in his name. 
we've been going over some different things like money wise and stuff you know and some people have even told me well you got all the savings put back there's a thing savings is savings spendings are spendings you don't spend your savings and you don't save your spendings get it right people i save money to save money not to spend it i save money to save money not to spend it i save money to save money not to spend it i don't save to spend i don't spend to save okay i save to save and I spend to spend okay so uh, my savings is gonna sit there i might use some of it but i want to go there the easy route there's lots of different options that I can do, whether I want to refinance with this company who, the mortgage company and the bank for this home, or if I want to go with a different company and do a different type of thing. I don't know what I want to do. It's a hard decision. It's something hard to do, and there's so much involved in it. It's not just, I'm going to buy a new home. It's 20 questions at a, every single minute. Am I going to like it? Is it going to look right? How much is it going to cost? Is it going to need any kind of work? Is people going to find me? Is people going to, is that a bad area to live in? The only thing that really, I would say the only con is that the house is not too big. And secondly, the other con is that, well, there's three. There's no coffee in the area. And number three, my biggest con is just me at night looking outside in these, a whole bunch of woods. And it's just like kind of scary to me honestly because it's like it gets dark and the woods are out there and the wind's just a hustling and all these woods are right behind you and it's just a little bit creepy so you know what i mean it's just like i so said this is the only three cons for this home there's a lot that's going into consideration there's a lot that i have to think about there's a lot that i want to do and today is gonna be my day i for myself i'm gonna figure out some more uh, some more things to do. I'm gonna figure out uh, what I want to do with this home and everything. You know, there's a damn thing I've ever even flipping moved. Um, but you know, I gotta decide what I want to do here. Uh, with me and my grandfather together, I put on some makeup. I'm going to get some poly gel nails. I'm gonna do my, my nails because all my acrylics fell off already. It's gonna be a hell of a day. It's gonna be a good Tuesday. We're almost at the middle of the week, and school's almost out. I'm ready for a new home, a new summer, a new start, and no COVID regulations out in the country. And it's time to go home, load my shotgun, let a cigarette, and wait at my front door. Just like the song, Gunpowder and Lead by Miranda, Miranda Lambert says. I'm going home, going to load my shotgun, wait by the door and light a cigarette. That's what we're going to do. So, I'm going home, going to load my shotgun, wait by the door and light a cigarette. And I'll catch you guys later.